2016 Ford Focus RS review The latest Ford Focus RS doesn't have to shy from comparisons with its competitors, that's what we can reveal already. The Focus RS is one of the five Ford performance cars which range from the Fiesta ST up to the Ford GT. We were invited to experience the mid-range Focus RS in Valencia recently. The Focus RS will be manufactured for the world market in the Ford plant in Saarlouis, Germany. From there it will be shipped out to 42 different countries. Development work has taken place in collaboration with Rallycross Star and Drift Legend Ken Block. To start with, let's do a brief look at the specs of the car. The 2016 Ford Focus RS is powered by a turbocharged 4 cylinder 2.3 liter engine that it shares with the Ford Mustang. It is the fastest RS model in history, and produces 350 horsepower, and a maximum torque of 440 newton meters in a range from 2000, 4500 revolutions per minute. 0, 100 kh is achieved in 4, 7 seconds which is not a bad figure. Considering that the Focus RS will only come with a modified 6-speed manual gearbox. It does however benefit from a launch control mode which helps control acceleration, and enables the RS to achieve these figures by using the turbocharger's overboost for maximum acceleration. The feature is quite unique for a manual gearbox, and works very well as we experienced firsthand. The exterior of the car has received a dramatic redesign. The optimized front grille mesh has 85% free cross section compared to 56% on the Focus SD to improve air intake. The rear now has a large diffuser to decrease drag, and a unique roof spoiler to decrease lift. There isn't a single design element without function as Tyrone Johnson, vehicle engineering manager of Ford Performance told us. The Focus RS is equipped with an advanced tall, wheel, drive system ensuring maximum grip under all conditions. The torque, vectoring, odd system distributes the 350 horsepower, and 440 newton meters of torque so that the car accelerates with maximum grip or pulls out of corners with maximum traction. A dedicated control system monitors the vehicle sensors 100 times per second, and acts accordingly. About 70% of torque reaches the rear axle, and if necessary up to 100% can be directed to one single wheel. With the newly developed HOT system the car can be controlled easily at the limits. Drive modes The 2016 Ford Focus RS is the first Focus to implement different driving modes, normal, sport, track, and drift, which can be chosen with a touch of a button. The four different modes change six different parameters including odd settings, dampers, exhaust noise, and engine, throttle response. While in normal setting, the car can be comfortably driven over long stretches on the highway with increased suspension comfort, and reduced exhaust noise. As soon as you switch to sport setting, the exhaust note changes its character immediately, and the famous pops, burbles and bang noises known from other manufacturers appear when stepping off the gas at around 5000 revolutions per minute. The throttle is more responsive, and the odd system already distributes more power to the respective wheel and corners. The other two settings, track, and drift are made especially for use on closed roads, and race tracks. While in track mode all parameters are set for fastest lap times and the fastest way through corners. In drift mode the odd system directs as much power as possible to the outer rear wheel to help induce oversteer, and the beginning of a drift in the easiest possible way. As soon as the car is going sideways torque is sent to both rear wheels so the drift can be controlled with the throttle alone, damper, and steering settings are back to normal parameters to enable smooth, and controlled low changes. The drive modes help create a car that is suitable for comfortable everyday driving as well as very dynamic driving on a race track. The newly implemented drift mode is a lot of fun, and makes you feel like kin block at times. Driving impressions So how does the latest Focus RS drive? We came to Valencia, 
and could enjoy the car's dynamic handling on the twisty roads of the Spanish outback on some empty B roads. We loved the engine noises and exhaust sounds under these conditions while whizzing through the narrow roads on maximum grip Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. The car felt very quick and well balanced as we did not experience much understeer roar over steer. The next day on the Valencia racetrack confirmed our feeling, with proper use of the throttle the car could be forced to come into oversteer easily with a big cloud of smoke ascending behind us. Same with drifts. If you know a little about what you are doing, then the car can be very easily be put sideways when in drift mode. The competition the Focus RS starts at 40, 000 euro, including 19% VAT for Germany. The four main competitors to the Focus RS in this Higley competitive segment are the Audi RS3, BMW M2, Mercedes, AMG A45, and the VW Golf R. The Golf R with 300 horsepower and 380 newton meters of torque is the most affordable AWD option starting at around 30,000 euro in Germany. The second generation Audi RS3 is powered by a 2.5 liter twin turbo 5 cylinder producing 367 horsepower and 465 newton meters. The BMW M2 will soon be available for test drives, and we should have a comparison on that shortly. With 370 horsepower, manual gearbox, and RWD only, the M2 is a hot contender to rival the Focus RS in terms of being the most fun to drive. The A45 AMG is a bit faster with 31 extra HP, and also features a very effective AWD system. Is it worth the 11,500 euro extra? That's up for you to decide. Conclusion The 2016 Ford Focus RS is a great successor with much improvement over the previous model, and with considerable increases in power and performance, while retaining its modest pricing. The car manages to be a fun ride with an advanced hot system and unique options such as its drift mode. We think the exterior upgrades look amazing, and loved both the blue and gray colors on our test cars. It is a worthy member of the five Ford Performance cars, and if you get a chance to drive one, make sure to give it a try. Thanks for watching and listening. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.